Hey. 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 Hey.
Annabelle, do you see all the big trees? She says, she says no, because they're so big, she doesn't realize that they're trees. Look, look Annabelle, at these look. trees, see? See those big trees? Scarlett's like, where am I? <laughs> So we thought we'd do an outfit of the day. Annabelle and I are wearing a lot of items from Jules, and I will link all of them below. Um, but this is their Right as Rain collection. It's super cute. They have a ton of different prints to choose from, and everything is like rain wear for the family. So Annabelle has her cute little rain jacket on, and it has little pockets. And she also has these cute little unicorn um, boots with rainbows on them. And then these are my boots. They have a really pretty floral print on them and I love the forest green color. This is my jacket from Jules. This is like their um, rain jacket that you can buy online and they have a bunch of different colors. I'm obsessed with polka dots, so that's the one I got. Um, it's super lightweight and it actually packs into its own pocket, so it's really great for travel. Carly, how's it going? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like, where oh, am I? In here, it's supposed to be the birth of Jesus. Really? Yeah, that's when this line Oh my started. gosh. Cray. Chinese event paper. That's what all these different lines are. Wow. Lunch time. Mm -hmm. Chicken salad sandwich. Annabelle has some corn. Really yep. quickly, I wanted to show you guys Doug's jacket because it was really dark in the forest and it was hard to see the navy. But this is the Jules Portwell Lightweight Waterproof Rain Jacket. Um, and yeah, it's so nice. This is definitely the highest quality jacket Doug owns. He doesn't have that many nice clothes. But anyways, it has rubberized fabric, so it's super soft and lightweight. I also like the fact that it has tape seams, so it makes the jacket really waterproof. And it has an adjustable hood, which you can change the fit for comfort. And the pocket zips, so that is nice too. So this is what Annabelle's boots look like when they're in their bags. So these are amazing because they're actually their roll up rain boots so you can travel really easily with them. And then this is what they look like up close again. They also have a one year guarantee. So if anything were to happen to them, um, you can get a new pair, which is super nice as well. Oh, she likes that. Come on, Annabelle. The secret ingredient, Grandpa, is water. <laughs> Funny. Pretty good. Annabelle's doing wow. her first Easter egg hunt. Hey, Scarly. What is Whoa. it? It's a peep. You can open it. I can't do it. Oh, no. Well, my battery's low already. There you go. You want me to help? Okay, then. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Annabelle says wait. So it's the second day and we're actually at Capitola Beach. Oh we're gonna have pizza my heart, which is like the best pizza ever. We'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh my goodness, traveling with two girls, you guys, two babies. What Annabelle's trying to wake up her sister from sleeping. <laughs> Such a hot mess. Scarlene, why are you awake? Oh, what are you doing awake? Oh my goodness. How's it going, Douglas? <laughs> what, what's what, she what, doing? Annabelle, what do you want? House. Annabelle's getting us today. I never, I never said we were perfect. What do you mean? <laughs> I never said Annabelle was perfect. She gets us. Oh God. Pizza will make it better. So we're at Pizza My Heart. Hey, there we go. Pizza My Heart in Capitola. And Annabelle doesn't know it, but she's about to eat the greatest pizza ever. Yay, we found a spot. There are so many people here. It is craziness. This is Saturday. Annabelle, do you see all the birds? Oh, she loves it here. You know, Annabelle was eating pizza here. Yeah. Like last year. She ate her first pizza here. Yeah. She was like one. <laughs> All right, guys. It's time. Oh, time for the big reveal. Annabelle got pepperoni. Yeah, which is as big as her face. Yeah. So you also got chick. Or what's this? This is the Big Sur. So the Big Sur has Haley's favorite, which is garlic cloves. Look at her. She's right robbed a her. piece of cheese. Get it, Annabelle. Get it. Garlic cloves, pepperoni, mushroom, mm -mm. green onion, and then the best one of all time. According to Doug. Chicken and bacon. Yum. Now, a lot of people are gonna talk about all their different kinds of favorite pizzas, but Haley has had the, ex the experience of being unbiased with Pizza My Heart, not growing up in NorCal. 
And she still says pizza in my heart's the best pizza. I mean, it's not like, it's not like traditional pizza, like chicken this and bacon, the best. but it is the best. No matter what kind of pizza you eat, whether it's thick crust or thin crust, Do people Chicago from, like, Chicago style, yeah, Chicago. wherever, Detroit, New York, don't matter. Pizza in my heart is where it's at. Doug just doesn't know anything else. That's what people say though. <laughs> we had New York pizza, else. that was bomb. Yeah, New York pizza was really good, I've but. I've had Chicago pizza. Look at we... this though. Look at this, like, I, have, I have a pizza yeah. blotter for sure. <laughs> Somebody's ready for their pizza. Hi oh, Annabelle, Annabelle, you ready for your pizza? No. That's a, I'm gonna, ready for pizza face. A... Hold it, Annabelle. She does oh, not share her to hold it. Oh, yeah. Pizza time? Pizza time? <laughs> she says, mm hmm. All right. Bomb. Where's it at? Bomb? And I realized bomb is a California word. Is it? Yeah. Your mom Bomb's said it. Bomb's a California yesterday. word? My mom said it? Yeah. Man, I'm learning new things every day. Look who's getting tummy time. She is so chunky. OMG. Hey guys, so we're back oh. from our week long trip to NorCal. There's like a mini car behind us that Annabelle stole from the neighbors right behind you. Oh, there is. Oh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so we wanted to end the vlog today talking about travel and like what mm -hmm. our, um, just like our aspirations are because I keep getting messages from you guys asking, well, you guys keep saying, come to New Zealand or yeah. next year come to Japan or whatever. Yeah. So we want to talk about like um, just where we are at with traveling and like our life. Yeah, it's really been like two big things with travel. The first one is that we see travel different now. Yeah, not to like travel. traveling to NorCal. It doesn't yeah, yeah, count. not like that. that. Just like like a traveling family. abroad, yeah. you know, staying in different places for longer periods of time. It's been, you know, travel to, has always been like a luxury. It's like you need yeah. to take time off. You need to save up money for it. It's you go to veg out and to not really think about anything. Relax. You know, you go to relax. But now we see travel more as like, something that's attainable kind of on like on a regular basis yeah and for we, us right yeah now. for us right now and we also see it as something that's almost like a requirement i would maybe not a requirement but it's like definitely more of a need to yeah. kind of create like the the people that we want to be yeah and especially like to create the to help create the people that we want our kids to be yeah so doug and i grew up pretty standard i mean i had never been abroad till we went on our honeymoon to yeah. japan and he went like to japan i've only been child. in japan yeah. But I was like seventh grade. Um, so I don't remember our parents that. just like didn't really, you know, they didn't prioritize travel yeah. because no one really does. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's just a different lifestyle for a lot of people. Yep. But we, I don't know. I personally found that I grew up in a bubble, probably mm -hmm. like many of you guys. I don't, I mean, I honestly don't know too much about other cultures. I can't speak yeah. another language. I mean, I took Spanish. Yeah, I'm but the same. I'm pretty much the same. I yeah. was in, you know, NorCal for eight, 18 years in the same place and then I moved same to SoCal. Town. Yeah. And California has been like the bubble. The good thing about it yeah. though, about living, especially in Southern California and where you're from mm -hmm. in Northern California, is that it is very diverse. Like yeah. there's so many cultures, yeah. but it's just not the same as like going somewhere and seeing how people live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um because a lot of the cultures here are americanized yeah. so anyways we just want to give our kids like the opportunity to see how other people live yeah like we think it'd like be, we it, never did. it would be so cool to like teach with travel it would be so cool to have you know to be really cliche to have annabelle <laughs> to have annabelle and scarlet experience like the pyramids in real life or like yeah. the great wall of china in real life and things like that or it'd be cool to teach them about cultures to teach them about like their heritage their japanese heritage in japan and like yeah. live there and have them experience it and i think like for us we always thought like like you said like it was a luxury yeah. so we only i mean we went to japan for like two weeks it for was, our like, honeymoon barely, it wasn't even two weeks it was like eight days yeah like you can't really get a sense of a place i no. mean you have to stay there for months we ate taco opinion. bell one day in japan that's because i was pregnant okay <laughs> i was pregnant and craving yeah. like not mm -hmm. You don't all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so we really want to give that to our children, but we realize there are things that we have to prioritize and yeah. things that we have to sacrifice. Yeah. Because if you want to be like a traveling family or if you want to travel a lot of the time out of the mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. um, you can't live like a lavish life. I yeah. mean, unless you have a ton of money, which yeah. we don't, you know. So that's why in 2019, you know, we're going to have the blinders on, put our heads down. We're going to work really hard with the goal to travel more and not to travel more for like luxury. To travel yeah. more to give our kids experiences to give us experiences let's be honest like traveling with kids is not <laughs> like <laughs> it's not, it's not leisure <laughs> it is like harder than anything like even yeah. just traveling to norcal i mean i lost my phone someone found it actually and yeah, brought it to a random store enough, but yeah. people are good in the world yeah. anyways um yeah so like you just lose your mind with kids mm -hmm. and traveling but i think it's worth it um 
And there was something else that I wanted to touch on. And, you know, Annabelle's at the age where she can, like, go into preschool. I mean, they call it preschool, but it's really, like, daycare. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been thinking about other options, like, yeah. I don't know, homeschooling or, like, a co-op or something. Because we just want to have more flexibility rather than yeah. only have getting to travel for, like, spring break or something. I mean, having that restriction of traveling, like, four days in the winter and eight days in the spring and yeah. 14 days in the summer or something like that. It, it's hard it's tough and it makes it one of those like stress cases and i don't want travel to be a stress thing i want travel to be a enjoyable. an enjoyable learning experience so doing like the co-op having that flexibility yeah. and doing like play-based learning i yeah. would consider travel play and so the other thing that we have been realizing is that in order to travel you have to give up a lot of your like everyday luxuries like mm -hmm. that's why we become more minimalistic with our stuff yeah i mean we gave away like a ton of the stuff in the kitchen and the clothes that we own just because we're trying to work towards more of like i don't know we want to have more experiences rather mm -hmm. than stuff yeah and that's what we found out through like traveling you're you know living in charleston yeah. having the big house versus like a, an apartment doesn't like, the matter experience the experiences to us are what we really look for and not yeah. the things so yeah, that's what we wanted to share with you guys today. Hopefully you liked our week long travel vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching our video and subscribing and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new and oh, like man. button. Dang, that was rough. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next one. Bye guys.